Hello, and welcome to the course. Hi, I'm Steve Ballinger. I'm the creator and instructor for the course, a long-term, very, very successful investor. And I have a complete course on investing in stocks, so if you're interested just in a big, complete course on investing in stocks, I have that. I also have a complete course on investing in coins, cryptocurrency coins, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others. This course is interesting where it kind of looks at the backbone of cryptocurrency, which is the blockchain, and investing into stocks or individual companies that are also investing in this area as a high growth area. So it's a very unique opportunity for us as investors to maybe get on the ground floor and investing in stocks that could have hopefully you know a rapid rise because of their investment in research and development, because of their investment in the blockchain technology. And we'll learn all about that here through the course. In fact, to give a quick little overview of the course, uh, we have our introduction here as far as just a quick little introduction. I'd like you to watch the lesson on, have we seen this before? You can skip around the other lessons, whatever way works best for you. It, though it's designed to go straight through, you can feel free to jump around. But do watch the lesson, have we seen this before? It's kind of a foundational lesson. Plus, we'll talk a little bit about the blockchain and another lesson as far as an overview of that, what that's all about. Then we'll get into growth and income stocks. What's the difference between the two uh, high growth ones or income stocks that pay a dividend? The interesting thing about this whole blockchain technology and companies investing it, you can find companies in both fields. Uh, you think it might be only growth or maybe technology. Actually, you can find income stocks too. So whether you're a growth investor or an income investor, investing in this emerging market, you have a lot of options for that. And part of options, we'll look at uh, the blockchain uh, specific stock sectors. What parts of the economy, what types of companies, be it technology, banking, healthcare, whatever, what parts of the economy and companies that are part of that economy might be investing more and in taking advantage of blockchain? This will help us to kind of narrow down our choices when we're looking at stocks to invest in, for example. And as we're looking at those stocks, we'll go over some key, key ratios and how to evaluate some of these cryptocurrency or more so like blockchain type stocks. So you can kind of do some quick fundamental analysis to see one might be more of interest to you fitting into your overall portfolio. Plus, we'll talk about a really emerging area, which is mutual funds and exchange traded funds, or ETFs, uh, that are designed and oriented around, specifically around these types of companies, around these blockchain-oriented type companies. Now, things like mutual funds and ETFs have been around a long time. We're all probably very comfortable with, with them. But in this space, they're very, very new. There's only a couple out there, and we'll do some evaluating of those, how to evaluate new ones that'll come on the market, and how to kind of understand how they're put together, because it is a very emerging area, and there's some regulations around that, too, and understanding regulations in this space as well. And then we'll do some future predictions and give you some action steps so you can take what you learn and put it into action right away and start making this a part of your portfolio, which I think is a, which is a great and very interesting opportunity. So that's the whole overview of the course. A couple of logistic things before we dive into, have we seen this before the first lesson, is sometimes I get really excited because I love investing in stocks and I, this is a really exciting area. So if I talk too fast sometimes, uh, there's some controls on Udemy where you can slow me down. Right now they're in the lower left, but they could be, they move them around all the time. So just look for the controls where you can basically slow down my speaking speed. Uh, by the same token, it should stream everything perfectly fine and adjust for, you know, however you're watching and your bandwidth. But if you have any trouble with video resolution or anything, there's controls that to kind of bring it down to, to adjust the video resolution. Everything's filmed in high definition, uh, high definition. So, um, it should come through fine, look great, but if you're having troubles, you can adjust that as well. Lastly, to get the most out of the course, I would recommend that you take notes through the course. Uh, just little quick little notes like, oh, that seems like an interesting concept, or I should check that with a mutual fund, or this type of uh, stock, growth stock is interesting to me, or an income stock might be interesting to me, or what something that maybe you've been following a couple stocks already and thinking like, oh, I should check on that, or I should check that ratio with them. Just little notes to yourself more so, not like a whole long big thing, just but it's nice to make little notes that you can go back to. Also, if you have a question, you can ask a question anytime, just pop it as a question and answer section in the uh, Udemy, you just uh, pop it in there and uh, we'll answer your questions for you too. All right, with that, let's get started with the course and uh, really start learning about this so you can become a great investor real fast and start investing in this uh, emerging area.